Hey there, fellow thrill seekers and story enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Storyteller Channel. I'm your host, Michael, and today we're about to embark on a journey that will send shivers down your spine. A journey into the realm of beach horror stories. The moon hung low in the sky, casting a silvery sheen upon the restless waves that lapped at the shore. The beach stretched before me, a tranquil expanse of sand and sea a canvas painted with solitude and serenity. Night after night I found solace in the darkness, the cool embrace of the water washing away the worries of the day. This was my sanctuary, my escape from the chaos of life. As I waded into the gentle surf, the water embraced me like an old friend, and I began to swim. The rhythmic motion of my strokes synchronized with the ebb and flow of the tide, creating a dance of tranquility in the obsidian sea. Stars sparkled above, pinpricks of light in the vast expanse of the cosmos, and for a while, all was right with the world. But then a chill ran down my spine like icy fingers tracing their way along my skin. A feeling of unease settled upon me, and I couldn't shake the sensation that I was being watched. My strokes faltered and I paused, treading water as I peered into the darkness beneath me. And then I saw it, a shadow, just at the edge of my vision moving with an unsettling fluidity. Panic surged through me, my heart pounding in my chest. I turned and began to swim back to shore, my strokes more frantic now, my breath coming in ragged gasps. The presence beneath the waves seemed to follow me, a lurking enigma that refused to be ignored. Finally, my feet touched the sandy bottom and I stumbled onto the shore, my legs feeling like jelly. I turned to face the water, my heart still racing, and that's when I saw something that chilled me to the bone. Emerging from the waves was a figure, disheveled and menacing, their clothes clinging to their form like seaweed. In their hand, glinting in the moonlight, was a knife, a glint that spoke of malevolence and madness. A sickly smile twisted their lips as they took slow, deliberate steps toward me, each movement calculated and dripping with a maniacal intent. Fear gripped me, an icy vice that threatened to steal away my voice and my reason. I stumbled backward, my mind racing for a plan. But as my back pressed against the rocky cliffside, I knew there was no escape. Who are you? I managed to choke out, my voice betraying the tremor in my soul. The figure's laughter was low and mocking, a sound that seemed to reverberate through the very air. Does it matter? They hissed, their voice a sinister melody that echoed in the stillness of the night. As they advanced, the glint of the blade grew more menacing and a surge of adrenaline jolted me into action. With a primal roar, I darted to the side narrowly avoiding the blade's deadly arc. My feet carried me along the shoreline, the wet sand giving way beneath my steps, but I dared not look back. The pursuit was relentless, the figure's footsteps echoing behind me like a haunting rhythm. I ran, my breath coming in labored gasps, my heart threatening to burst from my chest. The rocky coastline became my ally, a treacherous terrain that I navigated by memory and instinct. In a desperate bid to evade my pursuer, I plunged into the water once more, my body slicing through the waves as I swam parallel to the shore. The figure's footsteps faltered, their hesitation a brief respite that spurred me on. Hours passed, or perhaps it was minutes, time distorted by fear, and I finally emerged from the water, gasping for breath on the sand. The figure was nowhere in sight, swallowed by the darkness that had birthed it. My body trembled, a mixture of exhaustion and terror, but I knew I couldn't stay there. With adrenaline coursing through my veins, I stumbled to my feet, my legs protesting every step. My mind raced, piecing together the fragments of the encounter. Why had this person fixated on me? What had driven them to such madness? As I made my way back from the beach, the events of that night played over and over in my mind. The moon had witnessed my struggle, the waves had borne witness to my flight, and the darkness had hidden my tormentor. The motives of the figure remained shrouded in mystery a chilling enigma that would forever haunt the recesses of my mind. But one thing was certain. This night had changed me. The tranquility of the beach had been shattered, replaced by a sense of unease that would linger long after the sun had risen. And as I glanced back one final time, I couldn't shake the feeling that the shadows still held secrets, waiting to be revealed by the next unsuspecting wanderer. The moon hung low in the sky, casting an eerie glow over the darkened beach. The sound of crashing waves provided a soothing backdrop to my solitary stroll along the shoreline. 
I had always found solace in the quiet embrace of the night. But tonight, an unsettling feeling gnawed at the edges of my consciousness. I quickened my pace, my footsteps leaving imprints in the wet sand. The cool breeze ruffled my hair, sending a shiver down my spine. Glancing over my shoulder, I could have sworn I caught a glimpse of movement, a fleeting shadow that vanished as soon as I turned. I chuckled to myself, attributing it to the tricks my mind could play in the darkness. As I continued my walk, the sensation of being watched persisted. Every rustle of the wind, every distant sound seemed to magnify my unease. Rationality fought against irrational fear, but something deep within me knew that I wasn't alone on this desolate beach. Swallowing my apprehension, I stopped and turned abruptly, determined to confront whatever phantoms my imagination had conjured. But all I saw was the empty expanse of sand, unmarred by footprints save for my own. I chuckled again, this time more nervously, berating myself for letting my mind run wild. Shaking off the unease, I resumed my walk, my steps now more purposeful. Yet the sensation of a presence persisted, a weight upon my back that refused to be dismissed. I glanced over my shoulder again, heart pounding and froze. There in the distance stood a figure, a large shadowy silhouette against the moonlit sea. Panic surged within me, but my rational mind still fought for control. Perhaps it was just a trick of the moonlight, a misshapen rock mistaken for something sinister. But even as I tried to reason, my instinct screamed that danger was real and imminent. I picked up my pace, my heart now hammering in my chest and dared another glance over my shoulder. The figure was closer now and there was no denying the aura of malevolence that surrounded it. My breath quickened, my footsteps became urgent, and my fear morphed into raw terror. As I ran along the beach, a sound tore through the night, a chilling guttural laughter that sent shivers down my spine. I could feel the figure's eyes on me, its intentions clear. I had to escape escape. In a desperate bid to shake off the dread that clung to me, I darted toward a cluster of jagged rocks, hoping their uneven terrain might give me an advantage. My heart pounded as I scrambled behind one of the larger boulders, my breath ragged, my eyes scanning the beach. Seconds stretched like hours as I waited, my ears straining for any sign of movement. The wind carried with it a distant whisper, a haunting susurrus that sent shivers down my spine. My eyes darted from one shadow to another, searching for the source of the chilling laughter. Then I saw it, a flash of movement in the corner of my eye. The figure emerged from the darkness, its form looming tall and foreboding. In its hand glinted a knife, catching the moonlight in a sinister gleam. My heart thundered as the figure advanced, its footsteps steady and deliberate. Terror gripped me, but a surge of adrenaline gave me the strength to push myself further into the shadows. My breathing was shallow and rapid, my mind racing for a solution. That's when I remembered my phone, the lifeline that could summon help. With trembling hands, I fumbled for my phone and dialed 911, my voice shaking as I conveyed my location and the imminent danger I faced. The operator's voice was a lifeline, a reminder that I wasn't entirely alone. As I clung to the rock, eyes fixed on the figure that hunted me, the distant wail of sirens pierced the night. Relief surged through me, mingled with a renewed surge of adrenaline. The figure hesitated, perhaps sensing that its time was running out. In those agonizing moments, the beach transformed from a serene sanctuary to a battlefield of survival. The figure's malevolent intentions were clear, but my determination to escape its grasp was stronger. With the sound of approaching footsteps, the figure melted back into the shadows, retreating into the night. The arrival of the police marked the turning point, the point where my ordeal was over, and I was no longer alone in facing the darkness. As the officers assured me of my safety, I couldn't shake the memory of those chilling moments. The feeling of being hunted, the gleam of the blade, the haunting laughter that still echoed in my mind. The beach had been transformed into a realm of horror, a place where fear had tested my limits. And while the encounter remained a mystery, I knew that I had faced it head-on, summoned help, and emerged from the shadows victorious. The night that had begun as a solitary stroll had turned into a fight for survival, a fight that had left its mark on the sand and in the recesses of my memory, forever etched in the annals of my own chilling tale. The moon hung low in the sky, casting a silver veil over the tranquil beach. The rhythmic sound of waves crashing against the shore provided a soothing backdrop to my solitary expedition. 
Armed with my camera and an insatiable hunger for the perfect shot, I had journeyed to this remote beach to capture the lighthouse that stood as a sentinel against the dark expanse of the sea. The lighthouse, a rugged and weathered structure, loomed in the distance like a guardian of forgotten secrets. Its light, a solitary beacon, had guided countless sailors through treacherous waters. I could almost feel the weight of history as I approached, each step taking me closer to the unique perspective I sought to capture. The beam of light that radiated from the lighthouse's tower was my canvas, and the rolling waves were my audience. I set up my camera, adjusting the settings to ensure that I would capture the light's ethereal dance as it reached out to the night sky. With a satisfied smile, I raised the viewfinder to my eye and framed the perfect shot. As I clicked the shutter, a strange sensation washed over me, an inexplicable shift in the atmosphere that left a tingling sensation along my spine. I glanced toward the lighthouse's entrance and my heart stuttered to a halt. A figure stood there, silhouetted against the pale light of the tower. Their face was obscured by the shadows, and a chill ran down my spine as I realized they were chanting in a language I couldn't comprehend. The sound seemed to reverberate through the air, an eerie melody that prickled at the edges of my consciousness. My curiosity wrestled with the rising unease within me. I should have turned and fled, but something held me in place, perhaps the same artistic compulsion that had driven me to this remote location in the first place. As the figure chanted, the lighthouse's light began to flicker erratically, casting a disjointed dance of illumination across the sand. My camera forgotten, I stared at the figure, a sensation of dread tightening its grip on my chest. The air seemed to hum with an otherworldly energy, and I realized with a sinking feeling that I was not alone in this space anymore. This was no mere person. This was something beyond the realm of human understanding. Desperation clawed at me, urging me to run to escape the sinister scene that was unfolding before me. But before I could make a move, a blinding light enveloped the lighthouse, obscuring the figure and casting a blinding radiance upon the beach. It was as if the very essence of the lighthouse had come to life responding to the figure's incantations. Panic surged within me, my heart racing as I realized that I was trapped within a supernatural web woven by the mysterious figure. The light's intensity grew, casting grotesque shadows that danced upon the sand, and I knew that I had to do something, anything, to break free from this malevolent enchantment. With trembling hands I fumbled for my camera, its weight reassuring in my grip. I aimed the lens toward the lighthouse and through its viewfinder I witnessed the source of the figure's power, the beam of light itself. Within that radiant stream lay the answer, the key to unraveling the trap that held me captive. Summoning a deep breath, I began to take rapid shots, capturing the erratic dance of light and shadow as if my very life depended on it. The figure's chant grew louder, a chorus of eerie voices that resonated through the air, but I refused to be swayed. With every click of the shutter, the lighthouse's power wavered, its hold on me weakening. As the last photograph was taken, I felt a surge of energy, a surge that emanated not from the figure but from within myself. The lighthouse's light faltered, its brilliance dimming until it was no more than a flickering ember. The figure's chanting faltered, and the atmosphere shifted once again, the weight of its malevolent presence dissipating into the night. I stood there, camera in hand, my breath ragged as I watched the figure retreat into the shadows, its twisted motives left unfulfilled. The darkness that had enshrouded the beach gradually gave way to the rising sun, casting a warm golden hue upon the sand. I knew that I had narrowly escaped a fate that was beyond comprehension, a fate that would have bound me to a realm of terror forever. As I packed up my camera and turned to leave, I couldn't shake the feeling that the lighthouse held secrets that transcended the realm of human understanding. It had responded to the figure's call, casting a sinister dance of light and shadow, revealing glimpses of a world beyond our comprehension. But I had broken free from that sinister grasp, using the very tool that had drawn me to this remote beach the camera, an instrument of capturing truth and light. I walked away, the weight of the encounter etched in my memory, a chilling reminder of the terrors that lie within the beam of light.